Okay, guys, so you guys want to talk about the leaks, right? So let's talk about the leaks. There you go. Okay, this is the leak that we got. Is it credible or not? You guys have to decide. So what are the characters? So this is just a random Reddit leak, just to be completely clear. Um, the only reason I'm really sharing this is because people have constructed an argument that this leaker might be the same leaker that previously successfully leaked or correctly leaked other stuff. We can't be certain of that. We just don't know. Uh, but, I mean, we don't really have a lot of content or new news regarding Street Fighter 6 right now. So let's just entertain the idea that this might be real. Hopefully not. <laughs> The characters are Bison, Vega, Sakura, Rainbow Mika, Elena, and a new male character. So it's gonna be six characters, which is, by the way, exactly what, what I would have thought. Um, the only reason we only got four DLC characters uh, in Season 1 was because Capcom made the decision to not have 16 starting characters, but instead 18. Effectively, they put two of the DLC characters inside of the base roster. So six characters is totally within my expectation for season two, uh, but the leak does suggest that this might change in the future. It might not actually be six characters. And uh, when, like, when, when, when this person was asked, where does this actually come from? Uh, the answer is, as you can see, private discord with the history of leakers and insiders. If you know, you know. That doesn't inspire a lot of confidence, I have to say. But then there are some real specifics around the characters, which is interesting. So, so supposedly, there was a concept art with all six characters last month. Sakura has long hair resembling uh, Hokuto from uh, the EX series. Uh, Bison is older, unkept, whatever that's supposed to mean, and with a cape. And what looks like scars or veins on his skin. Uh, Vega is back to brown hair. Elena and Mika are less naked. Uh, this is totally in line with the philosophy for Street Fighter 6. Any character that was very revealing in Street Fighter 6 has been toned down. Honestly, I don't think Yoga Pants for Kami is very much toned down. I'm, I'm all for it, okay? <laughs> um, and for Elena and Mika, I don't care about them, so whatever. Honestly, if they redesign the looks of Elena specifically, that might be a good idea anyways. Maybe if we're really lucky, they remove the BS gameplay as well, you know? <laughs> That's my take on Elena, you know? Yeah, so the new male character is supposed to look Middle Eastern or African, and supposedly uh, an announcement is coming soon. This is the leak that we received. Now, just to clarify again, this is stuff that some random dude could have just made up. He could have looked at Cammy having yoga pants instead of, well, being naked. <laughs> and be like, hey, let's put in Elena and I'm just going to claim she's not going to be as naked. Because that's in line with what we got with Street Fighter 6 so far, right? So this could be completely made up, what we're looking at right now. But just, I really want this uh, to be clear. This has not been definitively debunked. And we have had situations where some random guys on Twitter or Reddit just posted random facts about new characters that had not been leaked before. And then later on, we were able to confirm that, well, some people knew about stuff and they even posted about stuff. Uh, like, uh, for example, the E Honda and Lucia leak and Poison, right? Those characters, when they came out, that was leaked on Twitter, but nobody paid attention because nobody understood the references uh, until the, well, the characters were revealed. Maybe it's the same thing, you know? This is just a random post after all. We don't really know. But what we do know is that nothing is definitive. And what I see here... This is plausible to me. I, ca I can see a, a universe where Capcom releases this exact roster as Season 2. I can see that. Exactly, they didn't ignore Nash dying, they rode around it. Right, Valkronification, you're absolutely right about that. 
if there is one thing that Capcom has proven that they can do, like, are you telling me that Bison, according to the lore, there's no possibility for him to return as a character because he died? M. Bison, the psycho power guy who's, like, able to do whatever he wants to do and... Like, a thou I can think of a thousand ways they can bring back M. Bison and would totally make sense. You're telling me? Especially M. Bison. He's especially easy to take back. Ah, uh, whatever. By the way, I've said this since day one of Street Fighter Six. I would be shocked if M. Bison doesn't make a return. Oh, did he? Like, honestly, I'm not a lore guy, okay? I'm not really a lore guy, but Bison has already died multiple times? Well, then, like, how are people even considering that as an argument? I don't get it. I can see the leak be true, but I can also see the leak, by the way, like, I really want to, to emphasize this. Like, I, I'm not putting myself on either side. I'm just presenting information that has been brought to my attention, and we'll see what happens, you know? I can totally see the leak, and in fact, I think it's more likely for the leak to not end up being correct. I think when it comes to leaks that are not, um, well, confirmable, it's always more likely for, for the leak to just be made up. Who knows, you know? I'm not quite sure if this is going to be real or not. Uh, as I said, if it wasn't for this long, like, like, we haven't had any real news for quite some time. And I'm excited to discuss any new information regarding Street Fighter 6 at this point. It's a bit unfortunate that this is also a leak, uh, since the main reason why we didn't actually get a lot of excitement uh, in Season 1 was because all the characters got leaked in Season 1, which was a real bummer in my opinion. I, I really think this hurt the game, even though the sales are fine and the, the playtime and everything is fine. I think it honestly hurt the game um, quite a bit. So hopefully the leak is not correct, but if it is correct, at least now we have something to talk about, right? What do you guys think? All of the details, by the way, around the characters, Elena and Mika being less naked, just as an example, those are definitely in line with what they're doing in Street Fighter 6. So in my opinion, I didn't see any like anything that is obviously wrong. This is obviously fake to me. I would I would love to hear like so. Chad is currently saying it's it's fake, uh, and I've I've seen a lot of uh, like suggestions that this is probably fake. But I could see a season two with these characters. They should reveal the characters once they announce the season pass. Who would buy without knowing? Everybody buys without knowing. Be I can tell you why. Like this this argument has never made any sense to me. By the way. If you are not interested in buying all the characters, okay, so if you're not interested in having a full cast, then you're going to buy each character individually that you're interested in anyways, right? So a season pass doesn't actually make a lot of sense to you. If you only have very specific characters that you're interested, what are the odds that any given season is going to have a bundle of every single character that you're interested in personally? Very unlikely. So I'm actually not on team, hey, let's reveal everything so we don't have any excitement for anything anymore for an entire year. I'm actually not in, I'm not, I'm not happy with that, to be honest. Uh, I understand in, in Street Fighter V, they ended up doing it like this. They ended up just revealing all the characters. But personally, I think that's a bad strategy. I kind of hope the revealed characters are just wrong. And we're not gonna get the entire season leak, but instead get silhouettes and just like tease stuff bit by bit. Um, I honestly think it's the better route. But yeah, let me let me know. What do you guys think? Is this fake? Is the leak fake? Uh, is it not fake? Uh, what do you think of the characters? What do you think of the supposed changes to Elena and Mika making them less? naked and in all thoughts as usual if you're watching this on youtube below in the comments